are opposing it. I call Priyanka Radhakrishnan. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, uh, it's with great pleasure that I rise to take a call on the Criminal Cases Review Commission bill. Um, and also to, I don't know whether it's really to challenge what the previous speaker who just resumed his seat said, because the parts of it just weren't that clear. It was too much justice. Not sure if he stood against too much justice, normalizing justice, the fact that it was too expensive to get justice. It was completely unclear. Um, he seems to think that this is going to open some sort of a floodgate so that we're going to get too many people who want justice. I'm not sure what exactly his problem is because what this bill does is to establish an independent body to review criminal convictions and sentences and decide whether to refer them to an appeal court. Now, it's independent. It's, run, it's going to be run when, if this bill passes and this commission is established. It will run entirely independently of the Ministry of Justice. Commissioners will be experts in criminal law in other fields. And the reason that we need this is because there are concerns. There are concerns about the timeliness, the quality, the fairness, um, and the independence of the current system. That's exactly what this bill is aiming to address. And we know that. We know there have been high-profile cases, as members from this side of the House have spoken about previously, that attest to some of these concerns. This commission is a tool to identify and to correct miscarriages of justice when they occur. So I'm not too sure what exactly that member had an issue with. There are tests for referrals as well. There's a whole process that the bill lists in terms of a test for the referrals. It doesn't completely replace the Governor-General's powers either. It replaces part of the royal prerogative of mercy. Um, it just replaces the referral power that the Governor-General can um, currently exercise. And that's where the independence from or the perception um, of political in interference is, is addressed in terms of this commission as well. So the Governor-General still has the power to grant a full pardon, but of course the use of that is quite rare as well. Um, now I just want to end actually by, um, by quoting um, the findings that the minister quoted as well in his um, first reading speech, I think it was. It was the findings of the United Kingdom's House of Commons Justice Committee in assessing the work of the Criminal Cases Review Commission there um, that said, if a bolder approach leads to five more failed appeals, but one additional miscarriage being corrected, then that is of clear benefit. I too agree with that sentiment and believe that this bill will enable us to achieve that, and I commend this bill to the House. Yeah. I call Chris Bishop. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Look